Hi, this is Harish here. Welcome to DB2 LAW Tips and Tricks video tutorial part 99. In this video tutorial, I'm going to talk about how to perform a redirected restore operation without redirect keyword. So this slide talks about the problem scenario and solution. We want to demonstrate how to perform redirected restore without using the keyword redirect in the restore database command. Now, this solution obviously have a lot of limitations and uh, restrictions. It applies only to automatic storage enabled databases with automatic storage table spaces only. So if you if you have an SMS or DMS table spaces uh, and you want to redefine or override the paths uh, of the containers of these table spaces, then you have to go for using the keyword redirect in your restore database command. So you cannot do that. Okay. Uh, without using the redirect keyword. So if there is any uh, SMS or DMS table spaces and you want the same path to be maintained, then fine. Okay. But if you want to overwrite the container path, then you have to use the keyword redirect. This is the first uh, limitation. And the second restriction is like all the storage groups will be redefined to the same storage paths. So uh, when I use this uh, restore database command with the option O N on okay and I can give a set of storage paths there and all these storage paths will be considered for uh, for the all the storage groups that are defined within the database so if the database has storage group 1 storage group 2 with storage path 1 storage path 2 like that some combination right so all of them will be redefined okay so whatever I am specifying in the on class the same set of storage paths will be assigned to all the defined storage groups which are in inside that database. So that is the restriction. So it is a very, very limited use case scenario only. Okay, so it is not like a general solution or like you can just happily implement in your environments directly. Okay, so if the database is automatic storage enabled with only automatic storage table spaces and you are okay with redefining this the same set of storage path information for all the storage groups then only you can go for this option. This is more of a, uh, you know, tip only. So this is this this is not for a, like, it is not a very, very real time scenario. It's a very, very narrow specific test case or use case, okay. So as usual, let's go to um, the example. So here I'm having, uh, I have already created a database, MAPLE Maple with two storage paths. Uh, so let me connect to the database and I'll show you that. So, okay. okay, the database is already connected. I mean, it is connected. It is, I'm going to create a storage group MSG with the storage path home DB2 INST1 MSG1 home db2 inst1 msg2 and then I'm, I'm listing all the storage paths and I'm doing a connect reset okay so you can see here IBM store group is having sp1 and sp2 two paths to be collectively uh, under the same storage group IBM store group and we have created msg as a storage group uh, with two paths msg1 and msg2 okay so let me back up and I'll, I'll also make directory sp3, sp4. I think they are already there. So let me check that out. Okay. Mm, yeah, sp3, sp4 path is already there. Okay, so I'll not create it again. My backup is done. So I'm going to restore. So restore db, db name, maple on sp3 and sp4 so th this is the only difference so what will happen now is this particular database will will have all the so it had two storage groups ibm store group and msg they were having different storage paths but now what will happen is because of this restore everything will come into one path that is sp3 and sp4 so you can check that so let me just do the restore override yes So after that, I'm going to say connect to Maple, select connect reset. Let's check that out. I 
again let me reiterate it is a very very narrow use case uh, it doesn't cater to all all of them so it will just give you a better understanding of the on path class and how to use that on path class what is the impact of it so that that is what you should be focusing on as a learning through this tip it's going to take a while So in the in the path SP1, SP2, and MSG1, MSG2, the containers should 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 not be available like after this restore. So let's go check that probably. Yep, the 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 container file got deleted from here. Yep, I think here. Okay, the restore got completed. Connect to my Apple. So you can see that the IBM Store Group and MSG all are using now SP3 and SP4, right? As per our command, SP3 and SP4 are the new storage paths and it will be applied to all the storage groups that are defined within the database uh, and all the tables automatic storage table spaces will obviously use the new path and uh, dms and sms will continue to use the old path unless if, so if you want to override then you this is not an option you will have to explicitly use the redirect app option and the limitation with this approach is all the storage groups will be redefined to same storage path if you if you want to have some control like on msg i want a different path store group i want a different path like that then you should not be using that on class okay uh, i think that's it in this video tutorial hope this tip was useful to you uh, please subscribe to my channel youtube.com slash db2 academy see you in the next video tutorial until then bye bye